It's been four years since Bowers & Wilkins entered the headphone market with a bang, launching the luxurious P5s, steering away from the popularity for big, bold plastic cans and putting a touch of classiness back into popular headphone design. It's now launching their successors, the Bowers & Wilkins P5 Series 2. We've got a brand new pair to unbox for you today, so let's get them opened and take a look. So taking a quick look at the outside of the box, as you can see it says down here the P5 Series 2. Picture of them on the front and a lovely new sticker just in case you weren't too sure. And just on the back here, a little look at the inside of the ear cups. A little bit of blurb about them as well. It also says down here that they're made for iPod, iPhone and iPad. So let's take a look at them. Now anybody that's familiar with the original P5s will see that they, they do look fairly similar, save for this metallic plate on the ear cups, which is black now, whereas previously it was silver. But otherwise, it's that all leather design that we know and love, uh, the soft leather on the ear cups here and on the headband. And this is the all metal headband as well, that's covered by the, the soft leather. And as before, you can remove the ear cups as well. Um, there's memory foam in here, so that should make them nice and comfortable to wear. And in there you can see a look at the drive unit as well. So having a look under here, we've got the carry case, quilted carry case, um, with a magnetic opening. And inside, We've got a universal cable, so the cable that's actually attached at the moment is designed for use with iPhones and I, uh, iPods, iPads, things like that. This is the universal cable um, for use with other phones, perhaps a computer. It's an interchangeable cable. And here, yep, so we've got a guide to Bowers and Wilkins and Bowers and Wilkins products, so you can have a good read up on the company. Quick start guide for the P5s, fairly self-explanatory stuff but shows you how to change the cables over. Um, this is saying that if you register your product you can get a three month subscription to the Society of Sound, um, so you can get lots of free music for just registering your product. And then we've got the safety instructions and warranty. So back to the headphones themselves, and as we mentioned, not much has changed in the way of physical appearance. They're the same size, the same weight. In fact, what's happened is a lot of the changes have actually gone on inside. For example, the drivers inside here um, have been developed from the technology of the P7s, their award-winning big brothers, um, which basically means the drivers inside uh, have got a suspended diaphragm, something we see more often in regular speaker design than those of headphones. But that's not the only thing that's new. Basically every internal component has been altered, so that includes the speaker plate and the ear cup enclosure, all of which BMW says will come together to enhance bass, decrease resonance and create the purest, most open sound possible. So the last thing to look at is the cable, which we mentioned um, earlier. It has got this uh, remote and mic, inline remote and mic, which will work with iOS devices. It's been slightly tweaked to improve ergonomics. Um, and also the cable is slightly thicker uh, than previously, so that should help to improve durability. So as we mentioned, the cables are interchangeable. So to do that, you just remove the ear cut, which is magnetic, and simply change it over. The BMW P5 Series 2 will be available this month for £250. We'll be putting them through their paces, so keep your eyes on whathifi.com for our full review very soon. If you've got any questions, do leave us a comment below, and if you've liked what you've seen and want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. Of course, we're available on all of the social media channels. You can get us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.